Hey guys, it's Jay Fighter 518 here. Today I'm going to review Sailor Moon Episode 4, Masqueraido Kamen Budokai, or translated as Masquerade Dance Party. This is the episode 4 of Sailor Moon Crystal, and boy, it's a good one. Uh, look what, to help celebrate, I got a muffin. Yummy. It's a chocolate muffin. Anyway, mmm, mmm, sweet. That's the episode. The plot is about Luna, the cat, as you all know who it is. Here's Usagi's classmate talking about a princess called Princess D from the Kingdom of D. It's not to do nothing to do with Tenacious D, thank God. Having a treasure, believing that the prince is related to the moon princess and the legendary silver crystal, as referred back to the original series. Usagi disguises herself as a princess after seeing her father dress up for a ball. Ami and Ray, who as you all know is Senator Mercury and Senator Mars, decide to dress up as princesses to get to the embassy. While they're somehow nephrite, one of, you know, Prince Queen Beryl's servants, disguises and puts a curse on the princess with mysterious powers, including Jedites, nephrite, nephrite, kings of the Dark Kingdom come together to stop the Sailor Scouts. In saving the princess and having that special moment with Tuxedo Mask. I think it was a good episode. It's a great episode. Again, I think they're doing a very good job. Adapting the manga, everything was as beautiful as the first three episodes. It, we got to see the kings of the dark of the Negaverse, Nephite, Jedi, Zoicite, you know the other ones, uh, come together for the first time. We never saw that in the original series much until later on in the series. Uh, we had to see more of Queen Barrel. We got to learn about Tuxedo Mask a bit more. They had the romantic, beautiful ball gown. Everything's so elegant and beautiful and regal. Mmm, it's a delicate ball, darling. Yeah, you had the whole impression I was going to do. I like what they were they're going, still looking for the Sailor Scouts since they needed to power the crystal, since that's the whole point. Um, I like that they sneak peek Sailor Jupiter. She's the next one, and then we have Sailor Venus. Then I mean, all of them come together. I like that they got the intrigue of who this Princess D is and what's in the mysterious... Chest. It brought a lot of mystery to the chest plot line. What was in the chest? Why was it there? What's its importance? We get a little sneak peek of that, and it would serve the story really well. Seeing Ray back and Ami was interesting because you need those other two as part of the Sailor Scouts, obviously. Seeing them trying to save the day and save the princess. It was interesting to have, you know, Usagi trying to learn more of, of her powers. Since this is also an origin story of the Scouts. It was interesting to see her use her different abilities. Okay, as much as she learned, anyway. Uh, we got to see her father. We didn't see him much in, much in the original series, or I don't think at all. It was good to see him, see what he was like. A big, tall, regal gentleman. It was good to see the other characters as well interacting. The, the, the dialogue between them was good. Like, again, the animation and music is, is, is flawless. I mean, it, it, it breathes life to this reboot throughout. They captured little children to get in the Nagaverse. I know they did that in the original story, but that's kind of pedo-ish, I think. But I could be wrong. I felt like Mr. Rogers would clone himself four times and say, Hello, neighbor. Ready to come to my special place? Hello, neighbor. But anyway, I'm done with the whole Mr. Rogers impression. I know some people say they don't like the fourth episode. I've heard people give it some flack. I can kind of see why, but, you know, because the animation was stiff at times. But, hey, they're starting out, guys. That's what I think. It needs to give the studio a chance to expand the tweaks and make and fix them over. You know what I mean? You want to give your show a chance to adapt. Because, come on, we're only four episodes in out of a possible 50. So... Come on, let's give the guys a chance. They're putting the heart and soul into one of the most classic Senshi Shoujo. Overall, episode four continues off with a great start. Animation, a good plot line dealing with the four evil kings under Queen Barrel. We see a lot more of Usagi's personality come in, even though she's still klutzy as ever. It's good to see Rei and Ami come together using ice and fire. Yes, she shoots bubbles. Bubbles. I'm going to give this episode a 5 out of 5. I really enjoyed this episode. I can't wait for the next one called Makoto, known as Sailor Jupiter. As always, this is J5 sign off. Have a great, have a great day, and see you later.